Now, here on The Briefing, we like to feature subjects close to MPs' hearts. One topic close to the Labour MP, Kat Smith, is help for social workers who work hard to support people and families in difficulty. She led a debate in Parliament last week. I asked her to explain to me how the narrative around social work can be changed. Kat Smith, social workers are often in the news for all the wrong reasons. You are seeking to paint a different picture. Why? Um, you're absolutely right, Gloria. So often headlines around social workers tend to be when something's gone wrong, most notably the death of a child who's a looked after child. Um, and I wanted to paint a picture of the work that social workers do that is unseen. The vast majority of social workers and the vast majority of social work cases actually are positive endings where social workers are able to support people through perhaps difficult times in their lives. And people probably only ever come into social workers at challenging times. Um, and I just wanted to paint a picture of the work that social workers do that supports families and supports individuals through quite challenging times. And uh, particularly in the COVID context where, you know, face to face contact is quite difficult. Um, social workers actually faced a really challenging set of circumstances where it was very difficult to do their jobs. Why is it a, a passion of yours? Why is it a cause that you've decided to take up? So I am the daughter of a social worker. My dad uh, was a social worker. He's a retired social worker now and he works in child protection and adoption and with young offenders. Um, so I've kind of been brought up kind of knowing about what my dad did at work. And the thing is that when he worked with young people who came, he went on to re-offend and commit horrible crimes. That obviously got the headlines. But when he supported young people to sort of turn their lives around um, and get on the straight and narrow, so to speak, that was obviously never in the news, never in the headlines. So I felt a bit like social workers only ever get the light shone on them when it goes wrong and not when it goes right. And... I just thought it's about time that we highlighted the good work that social workers do. And do you have demands of ministers? I do. Um, so at the moment, the cuts to local authority budgets mean that social workers' caseloads are higher than ever. Social workers risk burning out. And my biggest concern is around access to resources. Um, now, for many of us, if we have a bad day at work and we're burning out and we drop the ball, you know, we might miss a meeting, we might forget to send an email. But for a social worker, dropping the ball can be a matter of life or death for a vulnerable person or a vulnerable child. Um, so it's so important that we give social workers the resources to be able to do their jobs well and properly and you know, do the jobs that they actually went into social work to want to do. Some people might say it's the Labour Party wanting more spending again. What do you say in response to that? Is money right. always the answer to everything? Money is not always the answer to everything. And some of this is obviously structural uh, as well. Uh, but the reality is, is that the local authority budget cuts has had a huge impact in the resources that social workers are able to, to draw upon. And actually, social work is a preventative um, thing. So if we do social work well and you keep that family together and that child doesn't go into care, that actually saves the taxpayer money in the long run. If you support that young person to turn their life around and they don't go into a career of crime, that saves us huge money in the prison service. So actually, social work is a way of the, we invest in it well, of saving the taxpayer money. And finally, the you talk about tragic, horrible incidents that have made the top of our news bulletins. Um, Arthur Lidbinjo Hughes, Star Hobson, children murdered by people who were supposed to protect them and love them. Can any amount of money or investment or reform, can anybody stop people who are determined to do evil, doing evil? That's, that's a really big question. And after every tragic case of a child dying at the hands of the people that are meant to love and care and protect for them, we always say never again. And, you know, the statement um, following Arthur's death in the House of Commons, you know, there's MP after MP saying this can never happen again. But... It's already happened previously. You can look at Victoria, Columbia. You know, this has been going on for all time. I don't know whether or not we can ever stop every single act of evil that is done against a child. But what I know is that we can do better. And if we can save more lives through resourcing social work and giving social workers the confidence to do their jobs, uh, as well as the resources and the respect that they actually deserve for the people that they help, then that can only be a good thing. Cut Smith, thank you very much. Thank you.